Yo, what are you, Sub-Zero? Okay. <laughs> the most random video ever. Like, I think... I, I thought this would be a fun video to make because my mother called me and she packed a lot of stuff in this box and she's been wanting me to pick this up since maybe the last vlog that I've made as of this recording. And today's my day off and I got some most of the stuff around the house fixed up. So I decided to pick the box up and see what the contents of this box that she packed up is or are. Now, <laughs> it's funny because I have an idea of what's inside the box, I really do. I'm guessing it's games. But a lot of the stuff in here is not my entire past, but some of it because unfortunately my brother's an idiot. He lost a lot of games to, you know, by lending it to people in high school and junior high school and etc. And I'm guilty of that as well. So a lot of the games in here, these aren't all the games that I've owned when I was a kid or a teenager. But I think some of the stuff is in here. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Okay, got my keys. I don't think anyone has more keys than me. A lot of these keys, I don't even know what the hell they are. But I really am desperate to find out. Ugh, yo, this box, it took me like 15 minutes to cross the street with this box. <laughs> and that is not a joke. I'm being as serious. I need some good sharp keys here, man, come on. Ugh, there we go. Let's see what's in here. Ugh, fuck, this shit's heavy. Ugh. My goodness gracious. Now, mind you, these, this box is pretty deep. Hang on. As you can see here, it's pretty deep. And uh, there's some music CDs in here that are not even mine, mind you. My brother's right here across the <laughs> Hidden Dragon. Wow, this is, this is pretty massive, man. Pretty massive, man. Wow. Where do I even begin? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I love gaming. Gaming is my life. But nothing beats the gaming from my childhood, okay? PS1, PS2 to a certain extent, Sega Saturn, Neo Geo, Topograph 16, Dual R, all those freaking consoles, man, define my past. So let's take a look at this, shall we? I want to try to get through this entire box. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so if you have some time, uh, <laughs> enjoy. Now, King of Fighters 12. This was a re late release on the PlayStation 2. The reason why I got it was because... Oh, this is, this is 11, I'm sorry. 12 was that piece of garbage on the Xbox 360. The reason why I got this game is because I was actually very interested in knowing where the series went. I mean, I actually fell off after 98. 99 was a good game, so was 2000, but I still say that the best one in the series is 98. Now, that does not mean that is the <laughs> it put, that it is my favorite. It's just the best in my opinion. My favorite has to be 97. I love King of Fighters 97 and I will rip you in that game. I will button beat my <laughs> my way through victory. So yeah, King of Fighters 11 was okay, better than 12, I'll tell you that, but um, definitely not the best in the series. Rady Edda Stories. I remember I got this game for my birthday. This is an RPG for the PlayStation 2, and it is the creators of Star Ocean, and the reason why I wanted this game was because I destroyed Star Ocean 3 to the end of time. And I really wanted to know how Tri-Ace would handle another RPG. Now, mind you, I was not a fan of the second story or the first Star Ocean game, but I was a fan of Star Ocean 3, and this game was pretty solid. It was, it was a very fun game. It was not very serious. You can create your combos. It was pretty cool. I beat it. Thought it was awesome. Now, mind you, even though I have these games, I, don't, I can't find a memory card for the PS2. I don't know where they are. Maybe my brother took it when he, he went to Buffalo or whatever. Final Fantasy 12. Now, this is <laughs> this is out of order, mind you, okay? This list, this this pile of games, I don't know where the PlayStation 1 games are. The Sega Saturn games are not mine, they're my sister's. They're in her room. She does not she no longer lives with me. So this is all Sony right here, okay guys? I was a fanboy back in the day. 
Final Fantasy XII, I'm gonna tell you this right now, I'm not really gonna talk about this game much, but I do recall one story where, <laughs> let's say this, I was playing for two hours, okay, I was leveling, grinding, and let's just say something happened where I died, and I lost two hours of progress, okay, I threw the controller so hard that it literally broke in half, and <laughs> Yeah, I still have that controller. I should show you the battle scars. It's it was the most devastating battle scar that that controller has ever has ever experienced ever. Period. It, it was hospitalized for a long time. I needed surgery, and by surgery I mean I needed to get Doctor Zero in there and get some new screws and new plastic and stuff. This was a good game. I really liked it. Although the last boss is pretty whack. It was like freaking Dragon Ball Z Brawly. Very disappointing, but it was a solid game. I love Mega Man X4 and I love Mega Man X3. X1 is cool, but I didn't grow up with it. I mean, the reason why I love Mega Man X4, Mega Man 8, and X3 so much was because I played them on the PlayStation. The Japanese version of Mega Man X3 is so awesome. I love it. Yeah, I didn't even play this battle with Chase Garbage. So feed. Oh my goodness gracious, this game was so hard. You know how I had to beat this game? This is a shmup, guys, for the PlayStation 2. I think Working Designs was behind this. They published it. Yeah. Treasure developed it. It's not, a, it's not an amazing game. It's a solid game. It's just boring at times. It's not... It's not very hectic, and I love I love my sh shmups to be pretty hectic. Maybe I have a select few that aren't really hectic, like Polestar, Viewpoint, and some other games as well, like R-Type, uh, Delta, but... This game is okay, I liked it. I had to beat it by equipping the napalm weapons on both sides of the ship. That's the only way I was able to beat this game, the napalm weapons, because that last boss has like a million forms. But this is a good game. This guy, our darkness, man. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, nah, is this, yeah, okay, no. Yeah, this game is awesome, man. I, I love this one. This was my favorite in the series. I didn't really play two, didn't like three. Four was okay. Not looking forward to D2, which is the sequel to this game right here. This is the best one, best soundtrack. Everything was awesome about this game. The story was so funny. And the thing is, the reason, you know what was funny? Let me give you some memories. I bought this game when GameStop was still EB Games. And yeah, man, it was pretty sweet, man. What was the name of that? Dimensional Slash? Oh my god, blew our minds. And then when we looked at the booklet, there's a part in the booklet, booklet I'm not being able to show you now, but there's a part where it actually shows you, right here, hang on. Still can show you, hang on. When we saw level 4,307, our minds were blown away. And that's the reason why we freaking grinded I got to like 500, my brother got to 9,999, like a million times, transmigration all day. Devil May Cry 3, the best in the series. I love one, don't get me wrong, it was also one of my, it was like my first 10 PlayStation 2 games because I got it on launch. And man, it was freaking awesome, I loved it, man. Oh my god, this game, it was hard as hell. I prefer this version over the special edition because the only way you could play it the normal version of this game, which is hard in the special edition, is by beating the special edition's normal, which was so easy, it wasn't even funny. Speaking of Devil May Cry 1, I love Devil May Cry 1. Oh man, it brings back so many memories, but man, I really hate Dante's character model. I hated Trish, the way she looked, and I don't know, I found his demon form to be pretty useless with the exception of a couple of moves, like that spinning move that he has. You know, there's my memory card in here. Nope. Oh, I found it! Oh, snap! Look at this! Oh, man. This was my brother's, though. Heartless. That was his tag back in the day. I can't find mine. Mine says zero, of course. So, music CDs. Oh, I found the PlayStation 1 games. Stranger's Wrath. This was a great game. I think they have it on PSN right now on the PS3. Future Ramen, this is not my game. <laughs> Probably won't believe me, but it really isn't. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. This, oh man, I love this game. I beat this game like a million times. But not Subsistence though. I beat this one a million times. I think this one was better than Subsistence. A lot of people like the new camera angle, but not me. I like the whole uh, top-down view. I thought that was better, in my opinion. 
I used to play demo discs like a madman. And this was one of the demo discs I used to play when I got my my first Xbox. I played Time Splitters and I thought it was so fun. And then I used to play freaking Panzer Dragon Order. Oh, Quantum Redshift. I got that game on the Xbox and I am a monster in that game. But yeah, like I, I thought Time Splitters was pretty cool. Wax was like this weird freaking like this this game show game. I don't know why this is here. And I don't know why this is here. Resident Evil 4. Oh my goodness. This is a good version right here, man. It has so much content, it's not even funny. And then they got that new gun, that laser gun right here. I don't know, it looks like... I, they have the Xbox Live version, which is the remastered one, but... I don't know, man. It looks... The textures are fucking atrocious. God of War 2. Don't have to say much about that game. Final Fantasy X destroyed the last boss with like three hits. I know there's some people out there that killed them with freaking one hit. This game had a good story. Like I really like the characters. I love, my favorite song here, I have two songs that I love. I love the song where you fight um, Seymour. There we go, Seymour. You fight him in the last battle like in the snow area where he turns into a faith or whatever. That last, that fight, and the song was amazing. And I love Waka's theme. I love Waka's theme. Great game. The Dead or Alive Ultimate. The last good Dead or Alive game in my opinion. I don't care what anyone says. Is, Devil, is Dead or Alive 3. Dead or Alive 1. Ratchet and Clank Deadlocked. My favorite Ratchet and Clank game. And it's not even Ratchet and Clank. It's Ratchet. Because... Clank isn't really in the game, kind of. I mean, he's in the game, don't get me wrong. But you don't use him like as a backpack. You have these guys right here, and you get to upgrade them. This game had a great soundtrack, man. I love this game so much. I played this game on hard when I first played it, and I destroyed it. Love it. But then there's some, like, two other difficulties after that. I think they have this on PSN. I'm not sure. I gotta check. And I think it's remastered, too. Me and my friend destroyed this game. Oh my god, we used to do like 100 hit combos all day. Donatello and Michelangelo all the way. And I don't care what anyone says, Leonardo and Raphael are losers. This is not a good game, by the way. <laughs> Mega Man X8. It was better than X7, and it was better than X2 in my opinion. Okay, scratch that. Forget it. Mega Man X2 was, was okay, but this game, it would have been way better in freaking 2D. Soundtrack sucks, by the way. I don't know why. Mega Man X, Mega Man X four and five have great soundtracks, but I don't like the soundtracks for the other games. Kingdom Hearts two, the best Kingdom Hearts game in the series on consoles, because there is only about three games on the consoles right now, which is Chain of Memory Part one and two. My favorite handheld one is uh, Breath by Sleep. Dragon Quest eight, I didn't beat it. I'm somewhere in the game. I tried loading it up like. A couple of months ago, before I moved, and I still didn't know where the fuck I had to go. But this is the best one in the series. I really like Nine, but this game is freaking awesome. Oh man, man, I have a load of games in here that I need to cover. Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence. The only reason why I got this because it came with the MSX versions of the game, and I wanted to see what the new camera was like. But unfortunately, I lost one of the discs. Wait, did I? No way, I'm bugging. I, I have both discs. I thought I lost them. You know what it is? I think I lost the original one. I don't know. Man, I have a stack of games here. This ain't looking good. These are games that I bought like already when PS3 was out because Best Buy had them for like 10 bucks. And I really liked this game. I had the import, and the import was awesome. This is my favorite Naruto game, or the one that I played the most. Um. This game was pretty cool. I, I don't know if they took out the story mode in this one. I don't. I didn't play it much. I can't say. Oh my god! I I love this game. I don't care what anyone says. Onimusha: Dawn of Dreams was poorly reviewed. Like, no, nah, I mean it was decent. Some gave them. I want to say average about seven or so, seven out of ten. But this was a solid game. It was more of an RPG. Like it was pretty cool. Two discs. Like you could level up to like lower ninety nine or something like that. It was so awesome. I love. The, the, the Spaniard in this game, he is so awesome. I love Jubei, she's even more awesome. And I love Soki is his name? He is freaking awesome, man. I bought this game for like $10.
and it was sweet, dude. 360 was already out when I bought this, though. Had a standard TV only, though. Let's ignore this, shall we? Fuck, my game's about to fall. Hang on, hang on, guys, hang on. Ah. My girlfriend's gonna kill me when she comes back from work if she sees all these games here. Oh my god, I'm gonna tell you this right now, guys. I love Metal Slug 3 on the Xbox. You know why I love Metal Slug 3 on the Xbox? And why I need you guys to buy this ASAP and not download it on Xbox Live Arcade because that version sucks compared to this. And the reason why that version sucks is because it's the arcade perfect version, which you guys are probably saying, Zero, if it's arcade perfect, that's what I want. No, this surpasses the arcade version because for one, all the slowdown that was in the arcade has been eliminated. And then on top of that, it's only a one CC run, meaning that it's a one credit run. If you die after you use one credit, no matter where you are in the game, it's over. And you gotta start from the beginning of the level. And I love that. Oh my God, you know how long it took me and my friend to beat this game on one continue? I wish this shit had achievements because you guys would be, oh my God, I'm telling you, we still have the tape on VHS. This was uh, one of the first Xbox games that I got and it was okay, I forced myself to play it, but it was pretty fun. Stranger's Wrath is way better though. Okay, PC garbage. Beautiful Joe. I still remember when I bought this game. It was on a Sunday. I remember I beat Star Ocean to the end of time story mode. I said, man, I need to buy me a game. So I went to my mom, I was like, mom, man, you got, you got $50? She was like, okay, here you go, 50 bucks. I bought this game and I thought it was so awesome. I love the music in this game and I love the climax. Like when you fight blue at the end, like in the moon. Oh my God, that was such a fucking reveal. I just want to get rid of these games first before we jump into any PlayStation 1. Yes, I'm guilty. I bought it. <laughs> And it was so horrible, this game sucked, man. The soundtrack was terrible. I heard Christina Aguilera, and I was like, fuck. But luckily, it had the custom soundtracks. And my custom soundtrack for this game was freaking amazing, but this game blows. I don't even know why I still have this garbage. I don't care who you are, and by who you are, I mean Point Blank Games. I will destroy you in this game. I'm a monster in Tekken Tag 1. I'm not good at any of the other games because I stopped caring for Tekken after that. Although I did support them by buying the games because I still think they're good games. But this was the last time that I clocked in hundreds of hours. And I'm going to tell you this right now. My Jin and Jun will destroy any who gets in my way. That includes you. Return to Mother Base and Point Blank Games. And by the way, Soul Calibur, Soul Calibur still looks better than this game. I don't care what anyone says. And Dead Alive 2 on the, play, on the Dreamcast. I bought this game and I never beat it. This is when I started falling off on RPGs, man. Like, I beat La Pucelle in this game. I, I don't know, I just hated the story. I thought it was too nice. But this was pretty cool, it had a soundtrack. I know that the Wii had a version and it was kind of rare. And then like, I think it was rare. I, well, I never really ran into it in the store. And the PSP one has one also. You're better off getting the PSP one, honestly. Play it on your Vita. Splinter Cell. My brother bought this game because he went to GameStop and they told him about a game from Tom Clancy. He, he said, yo, it's better than Metal Gear Solid. Till this day, I laugh at that comment, man. I really do. But I really like the graphics in this game. Okay, I think we're done with, uh, I think it's time to jump into the old school stuff. Hang on. Still got Star Ocean until the end of time. Oh my god. Oh my god! I got the disc condom still! You guys need to see this. Hang on. You're gonna laugh. Watch this, watch this. I bought this when I was working at the Gap, mind you. This is my, like, I bought the disc condoms because EGM, when they still existed, and I don't remember the issue that had it. I think if I'm not mistaken, it was the issue that reviewed San Andreas. And they recommended this. It's like these these disc condoms to prevent scratching. So I got them, <laughs> and I still have it here because I played the shit out of this game, man. I really like the character design for this game. I like Nell, I think that's her name. Um, I really like her, I forgot her name. I don't like Cliff, he can eat the dick. But my squad was Fate, Nell, and what's his name? The guy who is supposed to be a bad guy, 
but he joins you. He's like the Vegeta of the game, but he's not really that much of a good character. And I also like Maria. Maria was awesome. But this game had great character designs. I really like it. I, I like the character designs for this better than the part four. And I love this game. Hang on, does this have a disc condom too? No, it doesn't. But look at this. Who knows about that? Who knows about that right there? Yo, the blue discs did not work on my PlayStation 2. So in order for it to actually work, we had to put tape to make it heavier, I guess. I don't know, but I returned this game to the game store so many times and they told me, look, man, it's not the game. It's the freaking system. You have to put it to the side or you have to go ahead and freaking uh, put some tape. So you put some tape and yeah, it freaking works. This game was awesome, man. This is my favorite Contra game. It's the best one in the series, in my opinion. Halo 2. Oh my god, when I tell you that we couldn't sleep when this game came out, I'm being dead serious. My brother got a copy too. <laughs> he left it here, he didn't care. See, this is like some of the, you know, last purchases that I've made, like for my PlayStation 2. Didn't really play that one, I played it on the PSP a lot. I really liked Ace Combat 5, and I really like Ace Combat, period. My favorite one is Part 2. I didn't really like 3 that much. I didn't play 4, I played like once. And I played this one a lot, this was cool. The multiplayer sucks in any of the Ace Combat games. And I really like Ace Combat for the PSP, it's called Ace Combat X. Which I need to pick up Ace Combat on the... On the 3DS, 78 Strider picked it up. And he actually inspired me to buy it again because it's a remake of Part 2. So... Yes, I'm guilty man, I'm guilty! Sailor Moon for the win! I used to love Sailor Moon! And I really love the Japanese soundtrack. Like for this one, every time that they transform, I think that the, the 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 little tunes that they have were so corny but so cool at the same time. This had like eight episodes or something like that. All right, we're gonna get into some. Hang on, this is getting crazy right now. Let me take out these soundtracks. These soundtracks. Oh wait, these aren't soundtracks. These are games. Okay, let's show you. Now, mind you guys, I didn't care for how I took care of my games back then. So I got some SNK versus Capcom. I don't know where the book is, it's probably in here somewhere. But Capcom versus SNK, I'm sorry. This game was cool, man. I really like how they redesigned the Street Fighter characters. And I really like how they redesigned the, you know, characters like let's say Ryu, Ken. Characters that we would constantly see the, the, the models for Alpha in like the Versus series. So when I saw that they redesigned them here, I thought they were so cool. And the SNK characters have never looked better than they did in this series right here. Okay, maybe King, maybe King of Fighters like 12 and 13. They look pretty awesome. But no, other than that, they, that takes the cake. Worms Armageddon on the Dreamcast. I still found it weird that you can only play multiplayer by passing the controller around. That was so weird. Unless I've been missing something entirely, I don't know. Here we go, some Neo Geo, man. Some Essence, some freaking Fate of Fury special. Which I hated this game because it had part two on the Dual R. So I found this one to be completely pointless with the exception of it looked better and it played better. And it had less, no, actually the Dual R had less loading. Pull Star on the Neo Geo. I love this game. I love this game. I only beat it on easy. Till this day, I can't beat it past easy. Because I think each, uh, like in the options, it has a difficulty from like 1 through 10, or maybe I'm exaggerating. But I can only beat it on easy, because this game is freaking difficult as hell. I love the music for the second stage. Fate of Fury 3, I remember when we got this game, I thought it was so cool because they also redesigned the characters in this. You know, because we played, this was one of my first Neo Geo CD games. You know, so seeing King of Fighters 95 and then seeing this, I was like, wow, that looks so different. I thought it was so awesome. But it was very difficult to play. I don't know why. Like, the specials were mad difficult. And speaking of King of Fighters, I love this game. Oh, my God. It's not my favorite. No, it's, it's not the best, I mean. But it's one of my, I want to say it's my top five King of Fighters games. I love this one. I love 97. I love 98. I like... Uh, 99 and I also like 13 but this was like one of the first fighting games that I had on the Neo Geo and the team edit thing I didn't understand what they meant by that because if you play King of Fighters 94 you don't select individuals to form a team you have to select the team and you were restricted to those members so 
if let's say if you pick Kim's team, which had Kim, Choi, and the fat dude, you had to play as a fat dude. Unless you were really good with Kim and you did a one 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 character victory. But this game, you could just, you know, you could just pick anyone and form a team of three, which is cool. Sukuden 2. This game is amazing. I have part one in here, I gotta find it. This game is so cool, man. Like, sorry about this. These freaking discs are broken. This game is amazing. Luca Blight is a prick. I'll tell you that right now. I didn't want to play this game. Alright, it's getting crazy right now. Dragon Fist on DVD. Oh my god, this, this is like the last Dragon Ball Z movie. Tekken. Oh my goodness gracious, Tekken. Remember these big ass boxes? Zero Divide came in this, and so did this game, and I think In the Hunt did also. But man, I really love these boxes. They're so freaking awesome. Look at that, man. And this game sucks, but the music is freaking phenomenal. Let's get these out the way right here. Excuse the Dave Chappelle on the right. Armitage, Dual Matrix. It's an okay movie. Okay. Before I get into detail, I used to go to Chinatown and get these bootlegs. You can get these, this right here was 20 bucks, okay? And it included the whole series, okay? Now you guys are probably saying, how is that a bootleg? Zero? That shit looks freaking real. Either this is a bootleg or this shit was imported or something. Like, we used to go to Chinatown, me and my friend, right? And we used to say, yo, uh, you got Helsing, for instance, right? And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, right here. And we'll look in the back, right? And if the text is yellow and it says English and Japanese, it's dual audio. And then on top of that, it's the whole series. It costs like $100 just to get the whole series versus 10 bucks a disc. So if this is two discs, it was 20. If it was three, it was 30. It was so awesome, man. I love those days. Now I pirate anime, and that's not cool. I need to stop doing that. Mind you, I buy them on Blu-ray, okay, if I like it, but I haven't really seen anime in so long. I apologize for this long ass video. I got this for my birthday. This movie was kind of cool, but uh, it didn't really make much sense. Uh, no, I didn't get it for my birthday. I got it for Christmas. I'm sorry. This is the Omega movie right here. Now, this is the cut version, unfortunately, so you don't see Chung Li's full titty shot here, but... It was pretty cool, and unfortunately, you can't switch to the Japanese audio. They have a DVD or a Blu-ray that does allow you to switch it, though. And I actually downloaded it recently, and the last battle theme in the English version is nowhere near the level of epicness as the Japanese version with the girl singing in the background. I don't know what the fuck she's saying, but I thought it was freaking awesome. Fallout 3 pre-order bonus. Street Fighter, Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, the reason why we got it was because of Third Strike. Oh my god, I love this game so much! So freaking awesome, is my memory card in here? Damn it, it's not. This book in color. Yes, it is in color, remember this? Remember back in the day when the books used to be pretty thick? I'm telling you, she is so freaking awesome. I love her so much, I would marry her if I was Dingo. And Viola is a bitch, and I fucking hate Leo. You can eat a dick too. But I remember the fight where she gets taken over. I forgot her name. But uh, she got taken over, and you're supposed to grab her mech, right? Only grab her and then suck the energy out of the ship. And oh my god, if you guys played it, you know what I'm talking about. This movie is horrible, okay? This movie is unacceptable. I bought this shit when I was working in Gap. And you know why I bought this? I bought this in Sun Coast Motion Picture Company. You guys remember that? Yo, that that place was awesome. I used to buy all my manga there too. So yeah, man, this is my childhood right here. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Got the Dave Chappelle. You guys really know that. You got Gungrave. Pay ten bucks because this is the last couple of chapters. For some reason, though, I got this on Blu-ray anyway. And. Oh, I got some more games here, I think. Dead or Alive 3, the best in the series. I hate 5 with a passion that game gave sick. Jet Set Radio. I found this so weird that it was called Jet Set Radio. Look, I bought this in Game Express for 10 bucks. That was a local mom and pop store. This game was cool. I didn't really get to play it that much. I bought it when uh, I bought Lego, Lego Star Wars, the, the, the first one that came out. 
Record of Lotus Wars. This was an amazing anime. And I'm not talking about the series, the TV series. I'm talking about the OVA. This has phenomenal animation. This game, this joint is amazing, man. I remember I saw this on Sci-Fi, <laughs> Sci-Fi channel when it first came out. Okay, so now, let me shift this real quick. Now we're getting into the games. Let's do this. Street Fighter Alpha 2, the box. <laughs> this is funny. My brother used to label finished. Like, anytime we finished the game, we used to label it finished. And we should show my dad that we'll get us a new game. <laughs> 18 Lethal Fighters. It's here somewhere. I don't know where it is. I'll find it, though. It's probably... The Tales of Destiny 2. Let me show you something crazy, guys. Hang on. I'm about to show you something that is going to blow your mind. It pissed me off, and I never got to replace it. Okay, look. This is it. It cracked. It's cracked. The disc is cracked. Look. Return some other base. If you're watching this video, this is what I was telling you about. If you want this, the remaining discs, I'll give it to you for free. <laughs> you let me know, dude. I love this game. I love it, love it, love it, love it. This game is amazing, dude. I bought this game for like $5, man. A long time ago. I went to this place called Game Depot. This game is amazing, guys. Amazing on the PlayStation. So if you want PS on, so definitely do that. <clears throat> when I tell you that I made the most epic RPG and my brother fucked me in the ass by taking the memory card and deleting my RPG, the world would never experience the story of Zero. And when I tell you that this game is still my favorite RPG maker, even compared to the PC one, this game is so freaking epic. I love this game. Oh my God, man. I tried to recreate the epicness of my story, but unfortunately, it has been lost forever. I didn't even record on my VHS like I wanted to. Expendable. This game sucks, by the way. It's a horrible-ass bootleg Contra clone. It sucks, but you know what? It's kind of fun in a way because the way they die is hilarious. You got to see it. Zombies Revenge. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. You can't beat this game. This game is hard, okay? I don't care what anyone says. This game is too difficult. Mario's is Capcom 2. Oh, man. I have two copies, I think. I, I got to see. You remember this? Do you remember this? The Edge? I've never used this before. I still don't know what it's for. Oh man, I hope my freaking Mars Capcom 2 is in here somewhere. Okay, what is this? Uh, bootlegs, probably. Probably emulators or something on disc. Final Fantasy Chronicles. I don't know why this is not in the box. Oh, this is the Final Fantasy 4. Sign of Hill. Why are these all stacked up like this? Final Fantasy 7, 3, the greatest hits. And the reason why I have the third disc as greatest hits is because the third disc was cracked to the max. Spider-Man, pretty fun. Oh, guys, I gotta show you this. this. This is part of my childhood also. This right here came with my King of Fighters 98 special edition. It was an import and it is a calendar. And till this day, I've never ever hung these up they're just here I'll show you I bet you guys don't know who this is I forgot her name is from she's from real bow I know that's Leona but I don't know who I don't know who that is no no this is Leona is I don't know if this is yeah this is Shiki this is Leona this is my this is that chick from real bow that's blue Mary and I think that's Shiki from no 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 no, not Shiki. Um, she was in Capcom vs. SNK. She had the sword. I forgot her name. Look at this. This is so awesome. Excuse Mr. Frosty in the background. This is the last blade. I love the last blade, too. This is uh, Kyo and his girlfriend. Yui, Yuri, whatever her name is. She was in Gauss Fighters. This is uh, Yori uh, feeding his, some straight cat. This is Shiki with the baby before that motherfucker Azra took it, took it. And this is Metal Slug. I'm telling you, this is so awesome. I never really used it though. Like I just got it and I was like, oh, awesome, you know? And then I just put it away, call it a day. 
All right, let's continue because we're I'm running out of time and I still got a shitload of games in this box. Top Hunter for the Neo Geo CD. It's a beat em up game that you can do moves like if you do a Hadouken motion or Shoryuken motion, it will literally do Hadoukens and Shoryukens. It's kind of cool though. You guys should check it out. It's pretty cool. Plasma Sword. I got this game when I was actually uh, practicing for a friend of mine, Sweet 16, and my dad took me to Game Depot. No, Game Temple. Game Temple, that's the name of it, and he bought it for me. And this game was awesome. I think any any Capcom fighter was pretty much awesome. The game that no one can defeat me in, Magical Drop 2. I didn't really play 3 because I had to be an emulator for part 2. My character was the priest and she was a beast, a straight up beast, and that's the priest right there. She's a straight up beast, even though she looks very cute because these are all chibi characters. It's pretty cool. It's like bust a move, on acid. World Heroes Jet. This was basically Fader Fury special, but for World Heroes 2. With the best World Heroes is perfect. World Heroes Perfect is the best one. Samurai Showdown 3 has the best soundtrack in the series. And this character with the umbrella is a straight up monster. Alright? I will destroy you with him and Nakururu and Rimiruru. Yeah, I had to buy this 15 buck used. You know why I had to buy this used? Because my freaking brother cracked the game. We had the game that was given to us for free. Look how freaking scratched up that shit is. We had the game, it was it was uh, given to us for free, and then my brother, like an idiot, put the game in his pocket like a dumbass, and he freaking cracked the game. Look at this, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. This game, I played it for like a day, never played it again. Dracula X on the on the Duo R, or Turbo Duo, whatever you call it. I've never seen Dracula look so much like a Playboy in my life until I played this game. And Richter is awesome. I don't know, you know what's funny? I never beat it with Richter, I always beat it with Maria, because Maria is make breaks the game. She's like so easy to play with, you know? These are soundtracks. I got the freaking Trigun soundtrack, the first donuts. <laughs> Real Bout. I got this game after I played Real Bout Special, and it was a little, you know, it was a little eh. But, you know, they redesigned them in, in Real Bout Special, and then Real Bout 2 being the best. Well, my brother says the best one is, spe uh, is Real Bout Special, but I like Real Bout 2. Final Fantasy 8, I hate this game. This game sucks. I hate it. I really don't like it at all. Like, I really don't. Oh my god, look, this. Uh, fuck, where the hell is the disc? Alright. <sighs> Baseball Stars 2, the most epic baseball game with the most replay value ever for the Neo Geo. And yes, it's 2D. I love this game, it's so awesome. I love how the guy will literally go up to you and punch you in the face. He'll punch the pitcher in the face if you throw the ball at him, it's so funny. Dragula X Remixes, I got this in Chinatown for 10 bucks. Kabuki Clash. This is a fighting game based off the Far East of Eden series, if you guys don't know what that is google it or something because it's an rpg which never hit the states and this game is okay it's solid it's not great but it's solid this is real about special this game is od exaggerated epic like od joe is a beast in this game joe higashi this game oh my god when i say that the intro is epic and then how they the triple geyser yo man this game was crazy Shenmue, when I tell you that I played this game until from when I woke up in the morning until I went to sleep, my sister can verify that and tell you that I had no life and that's all I did. This game I got for free, I don't know, never really played it. This game I played a little bit more than the first one. I love how when your character dies, he dies, like if your squad member dies, they're dead, like done for good. And I thought that was pretty cool. This game kind of sucks, you know. <laughs> Dead or Alive 2. This game, I remember I played the demo on the official Xbox Magazine disc, and I couldn't believe the combos in this game, and that's why I got it, and I loved it. That was a soundtrack for Final Fantasy the movie. Soul Fighter is not a good game, especially that it's only one player. This game sucks when I tell you it sucks. It's horrible, man. Not good. The Last Blade 2 on the Neo Geo. This game is sweet, man. I love it. 
<clears throat> good fighting game. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 on the PlayStation is horrendous. That's not even mine. I think a friend of ours left it. Because <clears throat> the, the Xbox one was way better. King of Fighters 96 on the Neo Geo. This was a really good game. This introduced new character models for characters. Because 95 used the same one as 4. And then when you play 96, they started using them in 97, 98, 99. Well, not 99, because they did change the character models for people like Kyo. You know, because he actually started using a leather jacket. I love this game. I love this game. I got it for one, one Christmas, and I played it so much, and I could not get past the sand level. And I got Mutation Nation the same day, too, on Christmas. Metal Slug 2. This one, me and my friend, me and my best friend played this game so many times that it was crazy. We loved getting to this part, the, the train station. We thought it was so cool, man, this game. This game is awesome. But unfortunately, it's plagued by slowdown that wasn't really present in part one. But this was a really good game. I love how Neo Geo games, like the, the, the CD games, have galleries. My very first Neo Geo game. This game is awesome, man. Like... Like, we couldn't believe, we didn't even know what it was about. My dad gave us this, and we were like, what the hell is this, Metal Slug? And when we saw that it was like Contra, oh my god, we couldn't believe it. <clears throat> Dunk Dream, aka Street Hoops, or Street Hoop. This game has the corniest music. Like, when I say it's corny, oh my god. Nothing can brace you for how corny the music in that game is. Okay, there's more games here. NBA 2K1, I will destroy you with my ultimate team. I made Mega Man, he's in my team. Dragonus. This game is horrible. Savage Rain on the Neo Geo. This game is horrible, this fighting game, man. This game is terrible, but he was inside, he was in that game Neo Geo Battle Coliseum, and he was pretty crazy in that game. He was pretty, pretty beastly. He was... Yo. 78 Strider, man. This is all you right here, man. Ninja Masters on the Neo Geo. You thought you were the only one that loved this game, right? Well, guess what? I'm a beast in this game. I'm a monster when I tell you. When I pick this man right here, it's over. It is over, man. I wish this game had online play. This game was so cool. I used to compare it to Guilty Gear. <laughs> Twinkle Star Sprites. G Minty Fresh. This game is awesome on the Neo Geo CD. The music is way better than the cartridge version. I think the Dreamcast version came out and there's a C two additional characters. It's like a shmup puzzle game. And the same, the game that I got on the same day as Viewpoint, Mutation Nation. I love Mutation Nation. I thought that it was so cheesy but cool. And it reminds me of Yu Yu Hakusho, the soundtrack. I don't know why. It really does. Gangan. The craziest fighting game I've played on the Neo Geo because it's like it's like a beat em up game, like a walking fighting. That's what me and my friend, my, me and my friend, my best friend used to call beat em ups, like side scrolling beat em ups, like like Final Fight, Streets of Rage. We used to call them walking fighting games. <laughs> so this game is like a walking fighting game, fighting game. So it was so cool, like like it's so awesome. Galaxy Fight, Galaxy Fight is sweet, man. I love the music. My favorite character was uh, was the ninja. The ninja was pretty awesome, if you ask me. And I think her name is Rumi. Rumi was cool too. That was her name. Excuse me if that's not her name. You guys probably don't even know what fucking games these are. You probably never even seen them in your life. Okay, got a couple more games. Egg. I hate this game. I got stuck. I used to. I printed out the whole strategy guide on GameFacts.com, and I still couldn't beat this game. This game was so difficult, but it was so beautiful though. And you know what? The boss battles in this game were horrible. Horrible boss battles. Sonic Adventure. I love this game. I really do. I hate playing as big. I really do. Resident Evil Nemesis on the Dreamcast. Psychic Force. $12.99. I still remember this game because I remember when I bought this game. The girl at EB was literally flirting with me and asked for my number. I've never had a girl ask for my number. And you know what the funny thing is? That was the only time that a girl asked for my number that was a complete stranger. Okay? It's so funny. 
that's the only every time I look at this game I think of that moment it's so funny but this game is basically like x99 the anime but the soundtrack in this game is awesome and I will destroy you with heat I think that's his name heat I will destroy you with the time guy oh my god Crazy Taxi, I bought this in Chinatown for like 20 bucks because the All-Star series were like 20 bucks each game. Tony Hawk on the Dreamcast, I borrowed it from my friend, never gave it back. Skies of Arcadia, this game is awesome. You know what's funny, I never really played Legend, but this game was awesome, man. I just didn't play Legend because I didn't have a GameCube, it was my sisters. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, speaking of Regal Lotus, Lotus Wars like 20 minutes ago. This game is so freaking difficult. Like, this game does not hold your hand at all. And it's not recommended to play it, but it's kind of cool, you know? It's like Diablo, but hard as fuck. That's the only difference. A uh, game that everyone says, oh, the most overrated RPG of all time, just to be cool. You cannot deny that this game changed RPGs forever. And no, I'm not talking about, oh, they made it worse. I'm gonna tell you this right now, PlayStation 1 has way better RPGs than freaking Super Nintendo. Deep Fighter, I hate this game. My dad accidentally bought me Skies of Arcadia two times. He bought it for me before Christmas, and then I don't know why, I guess he forgot, but he bought me Skies of Arcadia on Christmas, and I told him, oh, I already have this game, you bought it for me. He used to buy me games every day. It's crazy. And he was like, all right, I'll go to, I think he went to Circuit City or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, I'll go and trade it for you. He traded it for this garbage. I would have rather have a sealed version of Skies of Arcadia. <laughs> like, Halo 2 soundtrack. I bought this on my first check of The Gap <laughs> when I worked in The Gap. GTA 2. I remember I bought this when my brother bought the PlayStation 2. He didn't let me play that shit, that fucking asshole. And I bought this game and it was pretty cool. We got into GTA 1 very late. Okay, we got some more games here. Giga Wing on the Dreamcast. This game isn't that great, but what is great is the music. And I really love the character designs. I just hated how it had infinite continues, man. Like, there was no penalty. I had to restrict myself, you know? Dave Mira, the piece of shit. I'm glad that shit's over. Terraforming, a dual R game. It's a shmup. It's kind of cool. Very weird music. Very weird uh, level design, too. Brickingers. This game had beautiful graphics. It had the same type of graphics as Polestar. If you guys even know what that is. And it was pretty cool, man. Like, uh, this had replay value. It really did. Like, the weapon combinations were crazy. Sonic Adventure 2, one of the last Dreamcast games that I ever purchased. Very disappointed in that game. Final Fantasy Tactics, because unfortunately, we could not get the... Our, our, our Final Fantasy Tactics was stolen. All right, It wasn't really stolen. My brother, like an idiot, lent it to someone and they freaking moved and never told us where they moved. And uh, yeah, we I remember they, they announced on GameSpot.com that they're gonna re-release Final Fantasy Tactics and Greatest Hits. And once they was re-released in Greatest Hits, yeah, so we, we bought Final Fantasy Tactics and then the disc was empty. It was just a data disc. All first shipments of Final Fantasy Tactics Greatest Hits were fucked up. So it was pretty it was pretty crazy, man. I love this game. This is like top three Final Fantasy games. Mine's is Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy VII, and Final Fantasy IV. Oh my god, this game is a dating sim and an awesome RPG as well. You guys need to check this game out, and it's Atlas, man. Atlas is awesome. They really, I'm surprised they never released a sequel to this game. This game is freaking kick ass, man. Mind you, all these RPGs I beat, I raped them when I was a kid. It's just RPGs now, I don't give a fuck about. I bought this game for Chrono Trigger. I really did, because I got tired of playing on the emulator on that small monitor I had in the living room. And I bought it for Chrono Trigger. And I was a little disappointed because it had a lot of loading, like when going into the menus and going into battles, but the cutscenes were pretty awesome. For that, might as well get the freaking DS. Oh, games are falling again. You're better off getting the freaking DS version because it, it's basically the PlayStation version, you know? But Steel 2, Japanese only RPG. But you know what? I ain't never played past the first battle because I didn't know how to beat it. Fury 2, 
It, it used this freaking card that it had. It was so weird. Wait, what, what does that say? The Battle of Destiny. What the hell? It's so weird. And this is the card thingy. It's not in here. I'm almost done, guys. Lunar 2 complete. And yes, it's a little beat up, but it is complete. I'll show you right now. Okay, it's kind of... Fuck. Okay, no, I'm not opening it. Um... Yeah, man, working designs, man, is awesome. This game does no justice to the Sega Saturn version. I mean, the Sega CD version. But this, it has the pendant and everything. I never really opened it like that, so. Okay, see so what we got here. Evil Zone on the PlayStation is a terrible fighting game, but you know what? It is fun as hell. Great soundtrack, by the way. King of Fighters 98 on the Neo Geo. Amazing fighting game. I'll destroy you in that game if you play me. Spawn on the Dreamcast, I got two copies of this too. That game is horrible, I tried playing that shit a few months ago, it was, did not age well at all. King of Fighters 94, I got this on the same Christmas as Mutation Nation, because I didn't play 94 first. The first King of Fighters I played was 95. MDK2! You know, I never beat this game. <clears throat> I never beat it. This shit was so hard, me and my friend had to take turns. Every time I got to the doctor part, I gave him my VMU and I told him to beat it and then he gave me the parts with the dog and the guy with the flying. Soul Reaver on the, Dream on the Dreamcast is way better than the PlayStation one. Bomberman Party Edition sucks. Get the first one. Oh shit, I found a magic card. Wild Arms 2. Not as good as part one, but it is a solid game. I destroyed this game. Printed out the game facts, freaking strategy guide and called it a day. And in fact, I don't even think it was Game Facts. I think it was IGN. Because I remember IGN used to have guides back then. King of Fighters 97. I love this game. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I remember we got this game the same day as, um, as Bushido Blade on the PlayStation 1. Which I no longer have. Amicron sucks. House of the Dead 2 is awesome. Love it. Mach and X. Terrible game. Love the soundtrack. Love the character designs. World Heroes 2 on the Duo R or Turbo Duo. Lords of Thunder, amazing soundtrack, amazing soundtrack. Pretty good game too. The Perfect Weapon, don't buy this game. Xenogears, one of my favorite RPGs of all time. You know what I used to use? I used to use Billy, the gunner. I used to use Esmeralda. I used to use Satan. I used to use Faye, but I hated Bart with the whips. I don't know why, I just did. This was a fucking amazing RPG. Me and my, bro my brother never beat it, but when I started my save, I destroyed this game. I loved every second of it. Man, it's getting crazy here, man. Almost done, though. More soundtracks. What the hell is this? I don't know what the fuck this is. Real about 2. This game was awesome. I would destroy you with Rick and I would destroy you with Terry. This was actually one of the last Neo Geo CD games that, I've, that we got because from there, Dreamcast we had and we were moved on from there, man. But this was a great game though. Your soundtracks. King of Fighters 99. Remember H Tech? They used to bring so many shitty games on the PlayStation. I think even PS2. But H Tech was, was crazy, man. Like, they used, to, <laughs> they used to bring stuff over that was just like. Unbelievable driver. Let's see what else is in here. King of Fighters 99. This is the game. You remember when Dynasty Warriors used to be a fighting game? Well, it's a fighting game here, and it's a horrible fighting game. And it had the, it had like Tekken 2 graphics. Look, he finished. Horrible game, man. Terrible game. I remember we traded in the hunt for this in Funko Land, dude. That's how serious that shit is back then. Used to go to Funko Land, do some trade-ins. Look at this, guys. I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Look at this. He's doing the show to you, Ken. You see that? <laughs> That's so cool. I never used it, though. <clears throat> a friend of mine, uh, one of my good friends, actually, he bought it for me for my birthday. And he bought it in Chinatown. Uh, it was pretty cool. <clears throat> my good old PlayStation 2. You know why this is out? Because my brother used to play the shit out of Final Fantasy XI on the PS2. <clears throat> Alright, 
I'm practically almost done with PS1 games, so I'm just gonna grab stuff random. Rayman 3D, not a good game. These are all launch games. I bought these shits like when the 3DS launched. Ridge Racer 3D, not a good game. Uh, and the Rudo Power for Shippuden. I'll get back to this one day. It's pretty fun, and I think it's the creators of Mega Man Zero, but I had to buy it. Shadow Wars, it's okay. It's an okay game. Uh, I just stopped playing it. Luigi's Mansion, pretty good game. Etron Odyssey 4, destroying this game. I'm like level 25 or 26. Good game, I need to make some videos on this. Like, I gotta show you my death squad. Kid Icarus Uprising, I never beat this game. I got towards the end, but I got tired of the controls and I told myself I wasn't gonna play till the XL came out and I just never got back to it. <clears throat> Another game I never beat, surprisingly enough. Um, memory, uh, Mirror of Fate, I beat this game. <clears throat> this game is too hard, I can't even get past the second level, man, with the freaking highway. Love this game, I beat it like a million times. Pretty solid game. Almost done here. X99, it's a very good anime. Very, very good anime. You guys need to check this out if you haven't. It's very slow, I guess repetitive, but it's a solid anime nonetheless. The Blood soundtrack, the Kingdom Hearts, the uh, shit drop distance. Fucking hate that game, so boring. The best 3DS game, period. <clears throat> Code of Princess, eh, a little disappointed with this one. I never really got past like the third puzzle because I told myself I'll play it again, but I never did. <clears throat> I got lost, I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> Believe it or not, I fucking got lost. Oh snap, Metal Gear Solid. PS1. This game is awesome, man. This game is so freaking amazing. I love this game. Beat this game like a million times. Uh, this one and part three are my favorite ones. Didn't really like two, and not because of Raiden. I didn't care for Raiden, honestly. I didn't really care if he was in it or not. This game sucks. Cotton, the music, the soundtrack. You guys need to download the soundtrack to this right here, because this soundtrack will blow your mind. It's freaking amazing. I love the soundtrack to this. Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. Yeah, as you can see, they're trying to go for a 3D look. It was okay, I mean. Considering it was a 3DS, it did a, pre did a pretty decent job. It's just I hate those fucking Guile players online. Daylight Dimensions, Bust the Move Universe, Mario Kart 7, Tales of the Abyss, which I have not started my save yet. Now that I have my XL, I really do need to just start it. Man, it's a long ass video. Art of Fighting 2. I love Part 3, but we don't have it anymore. That had the best graphics. And the best Samurai Shodan in the series. Anything that came out after this is garbage. Anything that came out after part four is garbage. Kazuki and what's his name? I forgot his name. Kazuki and his brother. I forgot his name. The soundtrack. Oh, look. I used to bootleg games on Dreamcast towards the end. Like when it died or whatever. And look at this. Look at the, the cover that I made. Jotty Extreme Games. That's my middle name, Jotty. Jotiel is my middle name. Jotty for short. Jotiel Extreme Games. Rival Schools United by Jotty. This is a fucking horrible cover I did. What well, that was my problem. Go! Can Justice School bring back justice to the schools? What the fuck is my problem? Look at this shit, this shit is horrible. I did a horrible job here. These are loose games, me and Academy. Didn't really play it, I only played the demo. I, this was a copy that was given to me for free. Mega Man 8, I love this game. Xbox modded, yeah, I modded my Xbox. I pirated the shit out of games. Not 360, the original Xbox. And Soul Calibur, there we go, we found it. <laughs> so late. Oh, we're practically done. We only have like a couple of games left. And I gotta put this shit back before my girlfriend comes back from work and kills me. Okay. Armitage III, one of my favorite animes of all time. Big O, one of the biggest pieces of shit anime of all time. Ghost in the Shell 2, the biggest piece of shit anime of all time. And the last stack of games is 
right here. Samurai Spirits, which is part two. This is the special, which is a decent game. Last Resort on the Neo Geo. Very tough game. You crash into anything and you're dead. Ray Guy, AKA Blue's Journey. Very, very fun game. Me and my sister used to play this game. And then if you touch this chick's titty, she'll kick you out of the store. It's so funny. I'm not lying, we used to touch your titties all the time. Oh look, I found my memory cards. Oh my god, wow. This is all PS1 though. We used to get the stickers from the PSM magazine. You remember PSM? Before it became the official PlayStation magazine? It used to be unofficial PlayStation magazine. Cannon Spike. I love this game. It's in here, hang on. Why do I do this? <laughs> like, what the hell is my problem? Yeah, Expendables in here. Look at this, the edge. Oh shit, about to fall. I used to love playing as Mega Man, and I used to love playing as Cammy. They were so cool, and BB Hood was cool too. But Cammy had a nice fatty in this game. This is another NBA 2K garbage. Spawn garbage. Evolution up on the box, and the Fushigi Yugi soundtrack, which is not a good anime. You should avoid it at all costs. So there you have it, guys. Unfortunately, there's a lot of games that are missing in here because I don't, I lost them, they were stolen, we sold them, I funko them like fucking idiots for 50 cents. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed going through this as much as it, I enjoyed going through it. Now, you're lucky that you don't have to put it back like I do or watch me put it back because I'm going to fucking hate it. But I'll let you guys go and uh, later.